always forget to put his bike rack on. Bonafide Hustler here. Today we're going to go garage sailing and there's this neighborhood white garage sale in our neighborhood. So that's pretty cool. Let's go. What's up guys and gals? Chris Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the outside of E-Money's house and we're going to go garage sailing today. So that should be a lot of fun. Hit the like button right now. All right. I'm going to ask you guys right now. I want to see like 300 likes on day one. What are we doing today? E-Money here. What? We're going uh, garage sailing, and uh, there's actually a neighborhood wide. That's right. All right, so we're gonna do that. It's time to wake up, and let's uh, hit the road. Let's hit the road for five blocks, and we'll be at the first garage sale. Should be good. All right, here's the first one right here. I, I don't really know what's up. It doesn't look that great, honestly. Uh, I think we should pass it up, E-Money. <laughs> oh, they're looking at us. I can't film. I can sort of film this way. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. Yeah, that one wasn't that good. So we're gonna do some drive-bys and stuff. Obviously, that's what we like to do. And uh, it could be one that way. Looks like there's one there that E-Money's passing up for no reason. Um, it's all over this neighborhood, so we're just looking around. And... All right, we're gonna pass this one up. This one has hula hoops and games. We're good. We don't need hula hoops and games. It's about that time of the year where all these leaves like fall all over your property. Being a homeowner, I'm telling you, man, it's like the worst time ever. It's not good. A lot of drive-bys today. It looks like there's two right here, like close together. I think we're we'll gonna have to stop at this one because there's yeah. definitely some action right here. Right. Yeah, some guy with a trailer just took up all the space. I hope you guys are having fun. Maybe we'll make some money here. We'll see. All right, we found a garage sale right here. I don't know if we're gonna find anything here, but I have found one thing. I found the ugliest thing ever. I don't know what it is. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Check it out. What is that thing? What is this? That is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. What is this? It's like half floral arrangement. It's fake. Oh it's got gosh. the 90s looking like base to it. It's got this mirror that doesn't belong there. It's I too small for it. Oh, it's like a glass casey money. Look, it's not even a mirror. I thought it was like oh. one dimensional. It's three dimensional. Look, so they actually made that. It's like a shadow box, the ugliest shadow box ever, ever. And it has an art of choke behind it. It is terrible. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. 100%. I don't have to see any more things. This is the ugliest thing. Okay, we found some awesome stuff here. I got these boots for four bucks. And then I got about 10 maybe even 12 shirts that were 50 cents a piece and they're all vintage shirts and they're all super cool. Take a look at this one. This is probably one of the neater ones, 1986. Uh, look at that, 1986 Lionel Richie shirt right there. Bam, that's so sick. Anyway, there's so many cool shirts in here. I'll show you guys when I get home. And E-Money got some cool shirts too. What's, oh, your, be what's your best one? Uh, best one, I, I got this crazy freaking band shirt. What is it? It's uh, <laughs> what? weird, it's like this crazy band shirt. Like, oh, you got a crazy and, band? Oh, cool. And and Nassau, I don't know. Nassau? But it, yeah, but it's a uh, single stitch, oh, nice. heavyweight, All right. heavyweight cotton, but then this this one's probably. Oh, uh, this is the good one. I like this, this one's one. So rad. This one's super vintage. Then, it's so soft. Bonafide's like, oh, dude, that's so cool. That's oh. so rad. Oh wait, that's the back. Damn it. And then I turn to the front. I'm like, yay, yay. <laughs> oh, that's so yay. cool. Oh my gosh, <laughs> hey, that is so neat. Y'all aren't down with giraffes, then you know. Yeah, we're in that long game, man. We play the long game. Dang. All right. about them drills. So yeah, each shirt well, apparently was like 50 cents there and there's some really good shirts in there, you'll see. So we spent four bucks on the boots and 50 cents for each shirt. I'll show you the shirts when I get home. Some yeah. really good deals. Do you think we overpaid? <laughs> E-Money, there's no way we overpaid. I could sell the product. I mean, I could probably sell that Lionel one in my booth for like 30 bucks, maybe more, honestly. E-Money, where are we? Uh, we're at a Goodwill, we're masked up. Let's see if we can find some money in here. I'm gonna hold on to this for a second. Pretty nice sweater. I don't know what those are. Oh, I haven't seen it. You should look it up then. I decided against that uh, Woolrich sweater. It just wasn't popping enough. Um, so we're gonna go to a couple more Goodwills, maybe a garage sale or two, see if we can find anything there. All right, there's a yard sale right there. We just went to it, e-money. Got some Aldo boots just for personal use. There's yeah. just five bucks, not the greatest three. brand. Huh? Three, three bucks. They're three bucks? Yeah. Okay, cool. Not the greatest yeah. brand, but you know, if you're gonna personal, wear it personally, pretty it's pretty though. cool looking. Yeah, it's a good personal kind of buy, three bucks. I bought two Pearl Snap shirts for five bucks right here. Pearl Snap shirts in my booth sell so now between 20 and about $28 a piece. And these are short sleeve, really nicely broken in Pearl Snap shirts, so. Very good buy right there. Oh, dude, well, we gotta tell them like, what? This, this is a must. Oh yeah, we got a boomerang. Anytime we find boomerangs, we buy them. We have to. Because we throw them in the neighborhood and we basically almost kill ourselves with it. We have to master the boomerang. Yeah, right. Yeah, we haven't yet. What, what, what number is this? What number is this? Like, it's probably like the sixth boomerang sixth? we've ever bought. We always buy boomerangs at garage sales. We bring them to the neighborhood and we give it to our neighbor, usually Clark, who just throws them like wildly. <laughs> and a lot of them have 
hit houses, cars, <laughs> and stuff like that. So yeah, I make sure to park my truck <laughs> under the trees and all kinds of stuff when he starts throwing the boomerang. Yeah. I'm serious, I'm dead serious. Why are you laughing, E-Money? Because it's hilarious, it's <laughs> way. It's totally true, right? <laughs> all right, next Goodwill right here. And we'll see if we can find anything in this one. I found a double RL shirt the other day here. That's pretty cool. Let's go. This is kind of cool. This could be a buy right here. Okay, it's a couple days later and I want to show you guys the vintage shirts before I close out this video. There are some really cool shirts here, that's for sure. I've done a little bit of research on some of them too. Uh, but I want to show you the shirts. They're sitting right here. Oh my gosh, some of these are really cool. So comment down below, make me a promise. Comment down below which one you like the most. Or maybe if I'm off base on some of the pricing, let me know. Let's have a look at the shirts. Okay, so I spent, what, nine or ten for everything here, okay? Um, Philadelphia shirt, pretty cool. You know, one of the things like when you get into vintage shirts is, you know, obviously everyone talks about the single stitch sleeve, one stitch instead of two. So that's pretty cool. This one's made by Screen Stars, which is a, you know, totally like, if you see this, I mean, pretty much dealing with a vintage t-shirt regardless. But yeah, so a Philadelphia one, nothing special. This is probably worth about 20 bucks in my booth. Let's take a look at the next ones. All right, we got a Padre Island Corpus Christi Dolphin shirt. Got the single stitch on the sleeve, pretty cool. Fat collar, nothing super crazy, but this will probably be about 20 to 22 in my booth, something like that. What's next? Oh, we're starting to get to the good stuff. This is a tank top that was just randomly in the mix. I kind of like it. It's a volleyball tank top. So it looks like they had like a volleyball person in their family back in the day. So it's very neat. This is an extra large, I think, women's Fruit of the Loom from way back in the day. And uh, just a neat kind of thing. This is probably like 20 bucks in my booth. Now it's starting to get interesting, right? Because this could be uh, anywhere between maybe, I don't know, 40 bucks and about 80 bucks. But this is an actual Epcot Center Disney with the actual sphere on there, which is cool. Multicolored, a really nice shirt. Uh, Double stitch sleeve though, right? Not single stitch, but still you can kind of just tell this is not something that you see every day. Extra large, pretty cool shirt. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about maybe, you know, it's north, I think about 40, north of 40 for sure. This would be an awesome shirt for someone to get. And then we have the Disney MGM Studios theme park Mickey shirt right there. Pretty nice. This is probably worth 35 and up, more than likely. Nice shirt. And then it starts getting really cool. Look at this. This is almost like Bugle Boy looking stuff, but this is just a volleyball spike it shirt. I'm kind of tempted to pick, kind of tempted to keep this one, but it has such a fat collar, man. I hate these things like that. But uh, this one's an XXL. I was thinking about keeping it, shaving off the sleeves be kind of a cool like 80s looking like summer type shirt. Uh, yeah, this is definitely from like back then. This says 1989 right here. So, and textured too, like kind of interesting. Um, so what else we got here? Rushmore Cave vintage t-shirt, pretty neat. Um, by the way, this in my booth is probably worth like, I don't know, 30 bucks, maybe 35. So that's pretty cool. This Rushmore Cave one, probably about 25 to 30, nothing crazy. So it's Rushmore Cave near, near, I uh, like this part, near Mount Rushmore Memorial. <laughs> that's so funny, the near part. So very cool. Um, this one's interesting, a long sleeve volleyball, right? Shirt right here, really nice kind of like graphic. So it's probably worth about, you know, since the weather's turning here in Austin, Texas, it's probably worth about 30 bucks. Interesting thing is, look at this, look at the date on the back, 1987. Wow, this is where it gets, starts getting really cool. Two of these, by the way, right? So this is by Signal, and these are an extra large right here and a large right here. Bush Gardens long sleeve shirts. These are cool. This could be about 35 plus on eBay if I decide to go that route, but I'll probably just sell them in the booth. And they have Bush Gardens on the sleeve as well. Kind of see that right here. But that is a nice looking shirt with a horse on there. Oh my gosh. Pretty cool. Houston Zoo African Nights. Nothing super special, but it's the overall, it's kind of like an all over starry themed thing from 1994. Very nice looking shirt, but nothing super crazy. This in my booth, probably 25 bucks. It starts getting really interesting here pretty soon. Uh, not so much this one. This is Austin Volkswagen Club. Hey, what's up to my friend Matt Jackson? If you're watching this and you want this shirt, I'll hook you up. So there it is. Austin Volkswagen Club, probably a back in the day kind of shirt. Um, but yeah, neat, has a bus on there. Also has the normal Beetle and the Austin Skyline before all the crazy condos got put in, right? Pretty neat. And then we have a vintage MGM, Metro Goldwyn Mayer shirt, right? Let's see what the back looks like. Oh yeah, this is looking good, guys. So that's neat. This could be about 40 plus right here. Very nice shirt, something you don't see every single day. So this will probably make its way to eBay, honestly. And then the King shirt, here we go. 1986, I wanna say maybe 87. This is 86 actually, you ready? Look at that, booyah. Very cool Lionel Richie shirt. Uh, look, this is, it's, it's telling me what I'm gonna get, guys. Look, it's called Ched. I'm getting Cheddar out of this one for sure. It's called Ched, all the signs are there. Extra large 
single to stitch sleeve, 1986 Lionel shirt. And the back has, I think, the name, is this the name of the album, Dancing on the Ceiling, or is that the name of the song? You tell me. Uh, but that's pretty cool right there. So not something you see every day. Can't believe that was in the shirt pile. I could not believe it. So this one I'm probably going to ask, you know, somewhere between 60 and 100 bucks for it. Very nice shirt. So what'd you think? I told you some of those shirts are pretty cool, that's for sure. I mean, I have some Pearl Snap shirts and some boots right here that I bought too. You saw that on the video, but nothing trumps the shirts, man, sorry. So uh, am I on or off based on some of these things? Uh, the ones that I decided that would go to eBay, are they gonna make it to eBay? The Lionel Richie shirt will go to eBay. Um, but you let me know down below. I appreciate you guys stopping by and spending some time and watching this video. And if you got this far, hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you on the next ride along, you know, garage sale stuff with my brother if you enjoy those. Put a comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Goodbye.